Hey guys, I don't know what's going on. I just half filmed this video and then it just stopped recording and disappeared. So <laughs> we are going to try again from the beginning off the top here. That's okay. In life things happen and um, in ritual things happen too. So we'll, we'll get started again. So tonight we are celebrating the February full moon. Uh, we're following the Year of Ritual book by Sandra Kynes. And here it is here. It's a little bit dark tonight. I'm filming this actually um, the night before the full moon. So it's kind of perfect timing, but it's a very dark and stormy night. So can't really see anything outside. Um, or so anyway, we're following along with this book here. And this is considered the seer's moon. Like always, you don't need anything to participate in the ritual other than just finding yourself somewhere as comfortable to be. You can always use what's here and just project yourself at the altar side with me you actually don't need anything at all but if you do want to follow along with the ritual um you'll need a fireproof dish a lighter a white candle some form of oracle cards i'm using animal oracle cards the ritual actually calls for tree oracle cards so if you have some form of tree cards or algum alphabet um i think those would be perfect to use um what else what else what else a uh, pen some paper to write on and i think that's all you really need so we'll get started with some information on this full moon so just get comfy and um we'll go we'll, we'll begin here so the night of the year is drawing to a close but just as a storm can be most fierce before it ends. Winter can be most brutal just before the spring. In February, we continue to work with our inner power and confront our personal truths. The full moon of this month sheds enough light for us to see into our own darkness. Other names for this moon, the storm moon, snow moon, quickening moon. And this is the beginning of February as I'm recording this. So in the Celtic tree calendar, we're, during, we're doing this during the time of the Rowan, which is associated with the coming of new life, born from the dark of winter, protection and strength in the goddess Bridget. These dates are from February 1st to 17th. If you're watching this or doing this ritual during the time of February 18th to 29th, the tree is ash, which is associated with the sea. Mists tell of it having come from the undersea realm and protection in the god Mananan. And I may have said that wrong. <laughs> so here's some background before we get started in the actual ritual. And hopefully my video won't stop this time on us. The growing light gives us hope, but there are still hard days of winter ahead. Even with the icy grip still upon the world, you feel the life force awakening and know that your life must begin to quicken. Many things can unfold this year, but which way should you go? The Sabbath of Imbolc in the month of February are times of divination. This is the time of the seer within. The month is touched by the Rowan and Ash. The Rowan tree brings magic and the protection of Bridget as the goddess who governs crossroads. Bridges can see all possible paths of the traveler. The Ash tree is also associated with divination. It was upon the Ash that Odin suspended himself and from which he perceived the runes. This is why ash is frequently used as rune tiles. In times past, the wood of the ash tree was used for divination fires, where one would scribe the flames for images and signs. Finding an ash leaf with an equal number of sections on either side of the center vein is considered a sign of good luck. In addition to the runes, another form of divination associated with trees is the ancient Celtic Algum alphabet also known simply as a tree alphabet. Each letter is named for a particular tree and each tree has certain aspects and attributes that can be related to your personal life. In this ritual, you will select a card from the deck, which will be could be a tree deck or a divination deck, whatever you have. So we'll select one here later. If a message is not immediately clear to you, don't try to force something to happen. Simply note any sensations you may experience or images that may come to your mind. Messages from other realms are not always quickly revealed. An image or thought may need to settle for a day or two, perhaps even longer. Don't rush. The information will come to you when you are ready for it. 
The themes of this ritual tonight are the use of a divination method to see your path and to strengthen your connection with the natural world through divination. So let's get started. As always, I like to start the ritual of three deep breaths just to kind of get our mind and body to recognize that we're moving into a sacred space. We're doing something special. So get comfortable and take three deep breaths. Cold winds, skies gray, light grows each day. Life stirs secretly, soul awakens in us. By the powers of Odin and Bridget, sacred space is decreed. Come ye spirits of the north, of earth my foundation. Hidden in your belly are the secrets of what will be. You know where all seas lie and wait to be sent forth. We bid you welcome. Come, ye spirits of the east, of cold air and invigoration. Your icy blasts keep the world in the grip of winter, yet you bring a hint of milder times to come. We bid you welcome. Come, ye spirits of the south, of fire, our beacon through the dark of the year. Warm the earth and entice plants to part the snow. We bid you welcome. Come, ye spirits of water that feeds all life. Flow once again in swift, clear streams. We bid you welcome. Come, ye Lord Odin. In your sacrifice, you found answers. Help us define and divine what is hidden within us. We bid you welcome. Come, ye Bridget, lady who knows all things. As we stand at the crossroads of the year, help us learn our paths ahead. We bid you welcome. So now we're going to take our oracle deck and just hold it in your hand. If you are um, following along at home with your own deck, if you're not using your own, just look into the deck in my hand here and uh, just focus your energy there on the animal deck. Odin, Bridget, we call on your powers to see the many roads ahead. Reveal to us our path. May we be blessed with the insight to read your signs. So now we're going to pick a card from the deck. Okay. So we've got the timber wolf. Instinct, guidance, belonging, and order. So if you are following along with my deck, this is your card as well. So let me try to get it so you can see it. So think about the spirit of the timber wolf and what wolf energy means to you. Okay, and write that 
on your piece of paper. So the words that came to my mind were wildness, freedom, animal energy, guidance, and the word primal keeps coming to me. So I'm going to write that word down as well. So write down whatever words you're associating with your card. Um, that could be anything at all. And um, so just write the name of the card and the different little meanings on it. And when you're ready, we'll continue. Write the, write the tree name or the name on your card and attributes on a piece of paper. Soften your gaze as you look at the name. Ponder its attributes and how they may relate to your life. So now we're just going to um, sit and chant a little while we think about the card that we pulled. And again, I'm so sorry it's so dark and hard to see. But that's what happens when you film rituals at night. <laughs> so I'm just going to look at the card and just chant softly. And you can do the same with yours. Or just look upon the um, altar here at this card of the Timber Wolf, which I'll hold here for you. Moonlight shining bright, midnight on the wall. Oh, baby, uh, Diana's silver daughter, moonlight shining bright, midnight on the water. Oh, baby, uh, Diana's silver daughter, moonlight shining bright, midnight on the water. Oh, baby, uh, Diana's silver daughter. Moonlight shining bright, midnight on the water. Oh, radia, Diana, silver daughter. Moonlight shining bright, midnight on the water. Oh, radia, Diana, silver daughter. Once you've had a time to focus on your card, you're going to light your white candle. And from that, you're going to light the paper on fire. This is releasing the energy and teachings of the cards into the universe. And just drop it into your fireproof dish. <laughs> and don't set off your fire alarms like I just did. We're keeping it real here on the channel, people. We're keeping it real. As you watch your paper burn, think of all the attributes that you've learned and discovered from your card and how you're gonna transform them and manifest them into your life. Odin and Bridget, we thank you for your guidance this night. May we be touched by your blessings as above, so below, blessed be. Lady Bridget of the Crossroads, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with your wisdom and guided by your love. When you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Odin, Lord of Divination, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with your great knowledge and guided by your courage. As you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Spirits of the West of the watery realm, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with the ability to flow with light's currents. As you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Spirits of the South, 
of the fiery realm, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with the ability to find the beacon that illuminates the way ahead. As you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Spirits of the East, of the airy realm, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with the ability to rise above difficulties that may challenge us. As you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Spirits of the North, of the earthly realm, thank you for your presence in our circle this night. May we be blessed with the ability to remain centered and strong. As you depart to your realm, we bid you farewell. Our circle is open but unbroken. No longer this space sacred I decree. May the blessed ones guide our path in faith and unity. Blesses, blessed be. And that's it, guys. So thank you so much for celebrating the full moon with me. And I hope that this inspiration inspires you. And I hope that you don't burn down your house or set off your fire alarm like I did. So good luck <laughs> and enjoy. And thank you so much. Until next time, bye.